Am I supposed to let this play work? Buddha. Who's talking? Yo, listen, 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 listen to me. Look at me. Here's the deal. Today, we are going to be playing Ravings 2, or Ravings Update 2.0, that is. It's an indie game that I found on itch.io, and here's the kicker. Here's the big thing, the big deal. Are you listening to me? I am not going to get scared for this whole video. You hear me? If anything, they're going to be scared of me. That's the plan. And by the way, my name is Cameron, and welcome to the video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get on in to ravings. Look, easy enough. I'm not scared. I move really slow, but I'm not scared. Is it... Is it snowing inside the house, or have they only polished the middle of the floor? Drag with E. Ah! Oh, where is... Is there a mouse in here? Is that a rat? We got some rat! We got an infestation! Somebody... Is that Buddha? <gasps> Buddha. Who's talking? Did somebody let the TV on? Somebody leave the TV on? An empty piece of paper? Oh! 1986, May 19th. My memories are very unclear and may be with mistakes, but I clearly remember. I walk down my hallway and spot Scarlet. She is charming as usual, dressed like a real queen. We recently moved to this house, but we already know how the furniture will stand in this house. What curtains we will hang. Isn't it wonderful? Okay, so Scarlet and my other fellow royal majestic individual are uh, just freshly new to this house. They just moved in. They're, they claim they know where the furniture is going, yet they've got the table and the chair stacked up in the corner over here. So I'm calling foul play on that. Obviously, they haven't called an electrician yet. That's annoying, but, you know, nothing I can do about it. Another blank piece of paper that I can read. May 26th of this same year. Scarlet and I are already planning a child. The furniture we bought is very beautiful and we like it very much. We recently went to the hospital together to check our health. The psychologist I spoke with warned me that I have a chance to get hallucinations due to my crippled psychological health. <laughs> but how? How to explain all this to my dear, dear Scarlet? I can handle it. I can handle it all. No return. And put away, put away, put... There we go. So, our lovely prota our, our protagonist here is, uh... Wonky in the noggin. That's what I'm hearing. Wonky in El Nugano. And there's just a black... I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I, I didn't get scared. It was just a sudden burst of noise that energized me with fuel. I feel power in my body why do i feel so high up on the camera today we'll fix that um yes no i feel i feel energized i feel real vitalized that's what that was that that little twitch that you just saw was me being black i'm not scared rejuvenated that was a big word it's time to put on the glasses if we're gonna be saying words like rejuvenated we gotta be wearing we gotta have fun glasses and we need another key all right is this like a one key fits all type of scenario is that what's happening? Is what? Oh, no. No, wait, wait. Open. Oh. Oh, you gotta stay open. You gotta stay open so that I know you're open. There we go. That was a little difficult. Uh, oh, the refrigerator. It's very noisy refrigerator. Somebody splattered egg all over the ceiling. Okay, that happened when I was a little kid, though. Once henceforth when I was just a wee lad. And we were cooking eggs. All right, we had the brekkie on the stove. And I guess we just forgot about it. Them shits exploded everywhere. I mean, they went like all over the ceiling. I'll, I'll always remember that. That is a uh, that is imprint. That or somebody peed on the ceiling. But that seems less likely, especially because it's right above the stove. It makes sense. This, they're probably boiling eggs in here, and some weird kerfuffle of an uh of a uh, experiment went on here, and it was. <laughs> the doctor warned me that this might happen. Sorry. 
The doctor warned me that this might happen, but I did not expect such a powerful hallucination. It is good that the doctor prescribed me pills to suppress this disease. Scarlet has begun to look at me strangely and squint. I don't like it. I don't know why I have decided to have like a pompous royalty persona to our protagonist here. But this backsplash is interesting. Alright, they got cast iron plates, nice. But that's just what I've gone with. I've gone with this, this royal, this royal mindset. That I... Persephicles the fifth. Um... Nothing, if not royal. I am a god of my own doing. Oh, flashlight. Yes. Oh, that's so beautiful. Can I open you? I. What? What? Did you just. No, 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 no. Why? Open! There we go. There we go. Pacificles and I, you see. We've got some, we've got some work to do. Also, this door seems jammed. And yeah, you're not jammed now. I just walked out of that door. What do you mean, G? You're jammed. You're jammed diggity, my dude. Uh-huh. Ooh, another book to examine. This here is John Williams' The Varieties of Religious Experience. Yes. Good book, good book. What is this? A radio, you say? Ha, <laughs> ah, we're listening to talk radio. <laughs> the realism in that radio show. I really felt like that person was being murdered. Wow! That was crazy. Oh, man. Persephicles, did you have a a, a, a a hallucinogenic episode, a psychedelic episode, a halluc, a halluc, would it be hallucinogenic episode? Did you hallucinate? Did you have an episode and did you cut the phone wires? That was a dumb idea, because now if something actually goes wrong, who are we gonna be able to tell? Ah uh, yes, the wonderful Van Gogh painting, water splattered black ink. That's a very famous one. Very famous one. I feel like. I was supposed to have found a key by now, right? Is that a thing that I should have done? You got a key in here? No key, no key. All right. I need this to open up. I don't know what. No! Why do you. You gotta open. Open! There we go. You stay open. Open! Stay open. Stay. Ah! What are you doing? No! These freaking doors! Am I supposed to let this play work? This is a very gruesome show. It's contemporary art. It's contemporary art. I don't want to listen to it again. I don't- I don't want to listen to it again. That is not- I don't want to do that. I have been walking around for like seven minutes. It was on the table. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, I'm an idiot and I just broke my own immersion there for a second. Um, we got two locked doors. There's red room and then there's room at the front. Let's go to the room at the front first. That seems like death. That room seems like certain death, and I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm not the man who likes death. Death is not something that I wish to be acquainted with, as I am Persephicles. I am the one and the only Sir Pepicles. Find the key. I got a key. An old drawer. Old drawer key. Old drawer key. Old drawer key? What drawer? I did not see any drawers. I don't even know of any drawers that can be opened. Are you considered a drawer? Red room? Oh, 
Oh, the red room is a draw. With the nice, I feel like I'm about to go into like a disco. Like, we got like neon lights going on here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. And I want to see what's behind door number three! Hey! Stop! Stop! What? I gotta get in before it closes on me. Woo! That was quick. Oh, what is this? Oh, objective pre-completed. Pre-completed? I am scared. More and more I begin to doubt where it real where is reality and where is fiction. Scarlet is gone. She has left me. Abandoned me! Betrayed me! And now I am alone in this big house. Or not. See, he's he's evolved from from like a royal pompous individual to like a scholar. Right? Like he's a man who has read many books. Persephicles has read many books in his day. And those books have granted him the power of knowledge. And understanding. For we no longer need Scarlet. We have knowledge. And with that knowledge, we will rule the world with knowledge. Knowledgely. With my knowledge, I will bestow knowledge upon your knowledgeless mind. My books have been known to grant. A wrinkle or two their day. Okay, let's look everywhere for items and for keys. There's an empty bookshelf. Here's another invisible ink note. 1987. Have I seen this before? Or is it again? Steps. Someone is looking at me. Step, step, steps. Creak of the soul, they scream. How did I end up here? Don't turn around. Why? I did it. I broke the rule. I broke the one rule. I'm gonna be sacrificed to the blood gods now, but that's okay. I can't be scared because I made a vow. Pacificles Blinsky. To never be scared? Is that another flashing light or is this some weird parallel dimension? If we're dimension hopping, then I'm 100% under the full assumption that Pacificles has some serious knowledge from all the books he's read. Oh, is this gonna be a maze? Oh, God. Okay. Everybody put your seatbelts on. This is gonna be a very long and confusing ride. <laughs> Thanks for revitalizing me. <laughs> I sincerely appreciate the rejuvenating energy. Alright, good. That door is closed. Well, what was that? What was that? Oh, a key! Picked up room key. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Contemporary art. It's just art. It's art. It's just art. It's just, it's contemporary art. Oh, my flashlight died. I don't want to mess with him. He's doing, he's, he's part of the Russian mob. It's not my deal. It's not my deal. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I to judge? I believe that I should never, ever interfere with the inner workings of any crime syndicate. I think that's a pretty healthy rule to live my life with. That's a pretty productive thing to live by. Don't get involved with crime syndicates. I don't think it's a You know what I mean? However, I am fully unaware of where. No, open. These doors are very finicky. Please don't set that alarm off. I don't want. I don't want. I do not want it. I don't want. I don't want. I do not want to do it. You can make a beat of the footstep. What is this? Oh, so that, that last room that I needed the key for is going to require... It's going to give me a key code. So let me 
poof, and I'll be back. <sighs> Probably looks like nothing happened to you, because it didn't. I got the code. Code is 4589. And we shall use that code to open this door. Thanks. We're opened. What is this? Thank you for playing Raving's Demo. I will continue to develop this game further if I see your support. I will need a lot of resources to implement all the ideas. If you like the game, please write a comment in the itch page or support me on Twitter. Write your wishes or questions. I will answer everything. Cool! Um, give me a far less anticlimactic ending. Uh, other than that, I enjoyed it. It kind of... The atmosphere let me kind of jump in. Okay, here's my notes. I need an ending. And the atmosphere really let me jump into it. So I think you have a good thing going. And really, I'll just say, keep doing what you're doing. Because it's working. I had a look. I had a great time. This is fun. And having said all of that, thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and throw up a like. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Smack it. Smack it right up. Right up side the head. Just... I just smacked my my microphone. But uh, go ahead, do that. Hit that subscribe button, and while you're at it, smack that notification bell too, so that you know when I post next. I appreciate everybody for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.